You know, I wondered for a while after amputation why I was so hungry all the time because logically I thought there's less of my body and eating food provides energy to your physical body. So wouldn't I need to eat less if there's less of me? But soon I began to discover why my thoughts were in error. So let's talk about why amputees eat so much. Hello there, my beautiful, lovely, talented, intelligent, and delightful internet friends. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today on Footless Joe. I am Joe. I am missing a foot. And as an amputee, sometimes I talk about amputee specific issues. And one thing I don't think I've ever actually addressed is energy expenditure and food consumption. Like I said at the beginning of this video, something that I noticed as I was starting to get up and about on my prosthetic, as I was using a walking crutch, to get around is that I was so hungry, like all the time. This is gonna sound like a little bit of a silly story, but I remember one instance in particular where I was like, what is going on? Where I'd gone for a walk with friends earlier in the day and we went out and we got like this nice steak dinner and I ate the whole thing. I'm talking steak, mashed potatoes, maybe an appetizer, something to drink. I was well fed. Generally speaking, that would have kept me full for, you know, the next six to eight hours. But by the time I got back to the place we were staying, I was like, I, I need to keep eating. I need more food. What is going on? So I actually, I wondered about this before I had my amputation. I wondered if like my caloric needs to maintain my weight would go down because there was less of my body as I was facing this amputation. Like there'd be, I don't know, maybe like 10% less of my body. I think that's a fair estimation that like below my knee on one side would be about 10% maybe less. Maybe I'm overcomplicating this. But I thought, okay, maybe I need to eat that much less, right? Maybe my body won't have to maintain that part of my body. Um, turns out that is not at all the way that things work. And I discovered that for myself, both through education and research and also through personal experience of being like, I am so hungry all of the time. Like the same amount of food that I used to eat before doesn't cut it anymore. I wanna start off by saying that this is gonna vary for absolutely everyone. I'm not gonna talk about, you know, numbers or calories or anything like that. But in general, here's why amputees need to eat more than the typical person with all of their limbs. So in reality, below knee amputees actually expend a lot more energy than the typical able-bodied person. In fact, it's nine to 20% more energy to just get up and about than an able-bodied person. If if you are an above knee amputee, that number jumps to 45 to 70%. And if you're a bilateral above the knee amputee, it might be up to 300% more energy. That's an insane number. In fact, all of those numbers are pretty significant. So why is that and how do they know that? Well, to answer the second question first, they measure oxygen consumption as able-bodied people versus amputees are doing different activities and determined we're using a lot more energy. Those of us who do not have all of our meat limbs in measuring this oxygen consumption, simple activities like getting up to go across the room and pick something up takes a significant amount more energy for an amputee than a normal person. Translate that to going for a hike. You're talking about a lot more energy as you're doing more things. The flip side of this also became very evident to me as I got more active on my prosthetic. I realized I was exhausted a lot easier, that I had to sleep more, that I had to rest more, that after doing something I was a lot more wiped out and it took a lot of time for my body to kind of adjust to this and I think to some extent it still is. Generally speaking, in life, I'm gonna be expending more energy now than before when I was more able-bodied. Another thing that I think is kind of interesting to mention is that if you are not feeling well, just you watching this as a person, maybe you have limbs, maybe you don't, you expend more energy to do things when you don't feel well than when you feel well. So if you're talking about amputees who often are dealing with some kind of pain, who may have complicating other physical issues that they're facing, they're gonna be using even more energy to get up and about and around. Speaking of food, allow me to introduce you to Sadie, Monkey, and so Sophie's favorite new dog treat, Wella Pet. Wella Pet are CBD dog and cat treats to help you become your pet's hero. They can help calm behavior, improve joint mobility, contribute to healthy skin, and a lot more. And something I really love about this company is that for every jar you purchase, Wella Pet donates a jar of treats to animals in shelters who do not currently have family. So thank you for that, Wella Pet. Thanks for sending me these delicious treats. They have the Sadie Monkey Sophie stamp of approval. If you're interested in checking them out, I'd recommend it. The link is in the description down below. Another interesting Interesting note that I never would have thought about is where you carry additional weight. For instance,
instance, if you're um, carrying something, you know, carrying a, a good backpack on the back of your shoulders is better than strapping it around your hips. And it turns out that the least effective, the least efficient place to carry additional weight is at the bottom of your body, is in your lower limbs. So if your shoes weigh two and a half pounds more, you're gonna be using five to 10% more energy to get up and around. So when you're an amputee and you have metal body parts and then you're putting winter boots on top of that, it makes sense that you are expending a lot more energy. Another piece of the puzzle that comes into play is that when you're walking on prosthetic limbs, you're using a little bit more balance. You might be using more core strength. Generally speaking, for those of us who are able to wear prosthetic limbs, we do adjust to those limbs but even still, your body is compensating to be able to move in a somewhat normal manner. For instance, I was out hiking this past weekend and I was going up some pretty steep hills and I don't know if you ever thought about this with prosthetic limbs, but my ankle doesn't bend. There's some give in it because of the carbon fiber, because of how it's engineered, it's really cool, but my ankle doesn't bend. So going up or down hills, the rest of my body is compensating for that lack of movement in my ankle. Eating more is definitely a part of being an amputee, at least for me. I've noticed, like I said, I do have to like keep snacks around and eat slightly larger meals to maintain the same level of energy that I had before. There was a while there, right when I went through amputation and was adjusting to things, where I definitely lost some weight and I was exhausted 24 seven and it's taken a while for me to kind of even out get energy back, get some muscle back, start doing things, start adjusting more, learn that I need to consume a little bit more energy to be able to go about normal life. And it also was interesting for me to actually read through these studies and be like, oh, that makes sense. This is why I feel exhausted all the time and this is why I feel hungry often. So if you're not an amputee and you are watching this video, thank you for being here. Thank you for being here, whoever you are. This may be a topic that you've never thought about. I mean, I didn't spend a whole lot of brain power thinking about how much amputees eat before losing my limb, but it was kind of interesting for me to learn the biomechanics of how our bodies work and the biological needs that we have and how oxygen and energy expenditure changes when you're missing a part of your body. It was kind of a surprise to me, both from a, an educational perspective and also from a real life, I'm experiencing this for the first time perspective. Thank you for listening. I've linked the article I'm talking about down below if you want to check out those resources for yourself. I appreciate you taking some time to listen. A huge thank you to all my patrons over on Patreon for continuing to support this channel. You are the reason that I'm able to do this. Sincerely, thank you. If you're interested in joining my Patreon community and financially supporting what I'm doing here, this channel and my other channel, Trauma Talk, check out the link on screen or down below to see what that looks like, what the perks are, what you might get in return for it. Check it out if you feel like it and I appreciate it. To you watching this video, thank you so much for spending a few minutes out of your day here with me today. You could be anywhere in the world doing anything and you chose to hang out with me for a bit and I really appreciate that. I love you guys. I'm thinking about you and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Have you heard from the sky?